It's your side show, yeah! Welcome back to uh, Silent Hill, where... Back it up. Welcome back to... Uh, uh, Our latest uh, victim. <laughs> I, back up, uh, welcome back to Dumpy Victims. To right. the dumpanine. Um, the dump. Wait, the what was this thing guarding? Did I kill it for no good reason? It was yeah. just... No, it, bro, it was just that they were waiting for you. Yeah, it I had it coming. Make, I was gonna make one last comment about, like, the game design and stuff. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Anyway. They, they've gotten better, and they convey horror in different ways. Like, people, yeah. don't, people don't like having um, control removed from them, and that's what made these games scary. So, like... Right. It, it just... Times change. It's like kind of, you know, like it is what it is. I think there's something else I was gonna say. Anyway, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, we're not like something triggered it, but then we kept going on with the other conversation. But whatever. No, but anyway, you. um, yeah. oh, something what? else did, did what? It doesn't go on. I was trying to run to the fence, but you didn't do it again. Oh, uh, um, something else earlier, like two videos ago, uh -huh. did. Tell me, uh, like, remind me of something. Um. Oh, okay, shit. Cause right. what did you? I can't remember. You said something about like a like uh like a crazy crack addict or something. <laughs> what? Um. How about I had to do another fucking police report at my job again the other day? Oh yeah, let's. Uh, I love this. Tell me, tell me what Dude. happened this time. Oh my fucking god, this crazy bitch. So, we have, like, an order window where, like, cause I, I work at a convenience store slash, like, kitchen. I don't know. We give out. And nobody's ever heard of the place I work at. Have you ever heard of a Wawa's? Because that's, like, the big famous one that's, like, more nationwide. Um, or, actually, you know what? Uh, what is it? Uh, I had to Google something real quick. Uh, 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 um... Bucky, if you live in Texas, if you've ever heard of a Bucky's editor, please put up a, uh, ah. a picture of Bucky's logo. Um, you've ever been to a Wawa's or a Bucky's? I work at a place like that, right? So, what happens is we make food for people, there's a little window where we call out their number, they come and pick it up, kind of like, much like fast food, like a McDonald's or whatever, Wendy's, whatever you want to say. Um... How many bullets do you have, by the way? You, you're you not wasting them, are you? I freaking did. I hate these things. Um, we, we got we got enough, all right? Okay, and, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just, buddy, I'm just worried for your safety. But anyway, you should much be. like I was worried for my own safety the other day as I continue this story, um, <laughs> what happened was this crazy lady, oh, cool. like middle-aged, partially gray-haired, like just crazy lady, right? Oh comes up to the order counter like where we hand the food out and she just starts like talking about problems but like, here's the thing the way she's talking about the problems i thought she had something wrong with like her order or whatever right yeah but the the more i listened the more she was talking more in a alex jones kind of conspiracy way about oh, yeah. like so like just a few of the words she was spouting out, like, and they, we could see on Facebook, and they find out these people, and there are, like, okay, so let me just give you, like, two of the things that stand out in my mind that I can remember, right? She goes, and people here, <clears throat> sorry about the burp, so people here are using children at your bar, and I thought she meant, like, bar as in this little, like, thing we have in our dining room where you can like hook your computer into and get into our Wi-Fi. But she was talking about like the bar in our town. She's like, people at your bar using your children on Facebook and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And the most like haunting thing, but like at the time I didn't even like realize it because I was just so baffled by this woman. She goes, and like the California laws about like you registering like this and that and blah 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 like I could be on the California Facebook and I found out a lot about and she points right at my name tag and she goes, I found out a lot about Chris and I went well, what'd you find out about me? Like, just in like a, in like a haughty, not worried kind of way. I was just like, 
Oh, what'd you find out? And she <laughs> goes, a lot. And I was like, okay, bitch, is this crazy? And like, I want to point this out too. I've been through enough experience with a lot of jobs, especially like some nut jobs here. If anybody's like thinking that you should have probably just like called the cops or just something, which we did eventually, and you'll find out why. Um, sometimes the best course of action is inaction, right? Like, yeah, she's, she's a crazy, engaging. yeah, she's like a crazy conspiracy lady, whatever, like, just pretend like you care, let her speak her piece, most, nine times out of the ten, they will just leave, and you won't have to worry about them ever again, right? Didn't have it this head, no. So this is where it escalated, because I got an order on the screen behind me, like, we had these screens and they beep whenever somebody orders food, and I was like, well, okay, lady, because like, at one point I did too, I told her, I was like, I'm sorry, miss, but, um, I don't really understand the point, is like, is everything okay, is something going on, and, but, like, she kept spewing out her bullshit, so then this order came up, and I turned around, I was like, okay, well, you have a nice day, I gotta go do this, it was good talking to you, but I could hear her still talking, and at this point, she had turned around and started talking to the customers. And at the point where I was like, okay, so, like she needs to get out of the store, was I heard her say, and I quote, I know people and I have cousins with guns, fully loaded, ready to go. And I was like, all right, I just want this bitch out of my store. So I got on the horn, we all have radios. I got on the horn, I was like, Somebody push the button, get this lady out of the store, like we have a security button. And, um, so then, that got on, our security team got on, I told them what happened, cops had to show up, I had to file another police report, and like, and here's the thing, um, I know I told another story like this in my job, uh, editor, do me a favor, put a picture of the thumbnail up, and if you could do me, uh, pretty, pretty please, I'll pay you in a Domino's pizza for your extra work. Um, pretty please put a link in the description to that video. Um, like, I just was better well equipped this time, like, with the knowledge of last time. So the police had to come, I had to fill out a report about all this shit. So that was like the first three hours of two nights ago, mind you, this happened, of my shift. And here's the best part. <laughs> about... Two hours after that, so our, because so, like I work at a convenience store where we, so we also sell gas, obviously, like most convenience stores. This, uh, our, the way our system works is if somebody doesn't use up all the fuel on the pump, they can come back in and we can refund them what wasn't used. That's Homeboy call, but what? I said that's pretty sick. Go yeah, on. it's actually really good and convenient for them, uh, for the customer. They come back in, they, well, they, they didn't come back in. Dude calls, and he's like, hey man, um, oh, I got a problem. He was, Go he was, I actually found out he was a uh, regular. He was like, hey man, I got a problem. I was like, yeah, what's up? Uh, I, you know, I'm happy to help. He goes, um, I left like $30 on a pump. Uh... Is there any way I could come back in and refund that? And so like what happens is any refund that isn't claimed, we will refund it through and just keep it in like an envelope and mark it. This is the first time I got to do it. And I was like, oh wow, I actually get to like, I was weirdly excited because I was like, <laughs> I actually get to return one of these, re like this is awesome. And I was like, dude, all you gotta do Tell me the amount you had, and if I can match it, I can give it to you. Because, like, there will be people, like, the, the unfortunate part is there's that in an, an anonymity part where you have to make sure that they're being honest, right? So I was like, you name the amount, I can find it, I can give it to you. He's like, yeah, it was exactly $30. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. Pulled it out, first one there. So here's what happened. <laughs> he, I heard in the background some lady talking to him and he like i could hear him like pull the phone away and bring it back pull the phone away and bring it back and they were talking about like yeah like i was gonna get the gas but this crazy lady was trying to get in my window <laughs> so i was like i bet i bet 
he would I bet I know what happened exactly because it happened to me almost too so he comes in and I was like, buddy, was it around like this time? Was it like, and I described the woman and I was like, this lady, like she trying to get in. He's like, yeah, my window was down. And like, she tried to get in and like, I pulled it back up and like, I had just, I just had to leave. And I was like, okay, cool. So all you need to do is like, you know, tell me the name and money on the order and I'll give it to you. He's like, this guy, this money. I was like, perfect. Here you go. And then he goes, actually, you know what? I didn't get to pump the gas earlier. Could you just put it back on the pump so I could get my gas? <laughs> like, I was yeah, like, you I'm know what? Guess. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Here you go. So I found out later, too, because, like, I'm only a supervisor level. You have to be assistant and above to be able to access the can cameras without help from the uh, store support just because of the way they, you know, level authority blah 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 whatever most people probably would know what i'm talking about if they heard that um so i get a text later from one of them one of my uppers like yeah i found the footage that actually happened before the lady came in the store she tried to get in his window it was down he rolled it back up and then drove off and then she came in the store started bitching at me about crazy conspiracy facebook shit and then i had to call the cops on her so if i had known that before it would have immediately been like button push cops here get this lady out of the store right wow yeah, so that was my night two nights ago. It was a, uh, what's the name? Hang on, wait. It was it was a Saturday night. I had a great Saturday night. Oh, <sighs> what uh, are we doing in this game, by the way? <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> all right, so a little recap um, for anyone that maybe was not watching and just kind of listening with their eyes closed to the soothing sound of your voice. Yeah. Um, uh, I ran around a lot, almost died, uh, panicked, found every dead end possible before, before finally realizing that Levin Street is actually marked on the map, and I'm just illiterate. Um, look, they don't teach you how to read in Goblin School, don't worry about it. That's fair, um, that's fair. And now we are in the doghouse house. Oh, um, nice. That, that's actually what it's called. I saved in here, and it called this area doghouse. Um, nice. Now there's there's a door with three locks on it, and this is a map. This says keys for Eclipse. I can only assume this is where the keys to the three locks are. Uh, so mm -hmm, one's over mm -hmm. there down by Ghoul. Uh, one is in that alleyway strip that I was actually in before, but I, I'm just going to pretend the key wasn't there until I see this map, I guess. F me. Um, and then one is to the far right. So, yeah. Um, Neat. That's what's going on. Also, copied it to, oh, copied. Oh, I love that. I didn't even what? need to sit here and memorize that. It marked it on my map for me. Oh, right on. Oh, man, that's so good. Also, did that one part say Jim Beam, as in, like, a coy reference to Jim Beam? The, it was on the other map you were in, the, like, closed-in one. Or close-up one, I should say. But bottom right, it looked like it says Jim Beam. Oh yeah, it does say Jim Beam. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the that's Jim Bean's little brother, <laughs> <laughs> the non-alcoholic one. I yeah, just laughed like Seth Rogen, and it reminded me like, <laughs> a month ago I watched the Mario movie. Did you watch that? Have you watched that? I finally saw it, and the second I saw Donkey Kong like lean over at Mario and go, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah!" It's I, like, like, <laughs> I, like I won't spoil anything for anybody, but there's one part like everybody saw in the preview where they're in the carts, right? They're pretending to be Mario Kart, and yeah. he just. Pops in the frame, goes, <laughs> and then pops right back out. Yeah, it's yeah, so good. I, I was wondering like why the hell Seth Rogen was Donkey Kong like the entire t the entire time I started watching the movie, all the way up until I saw him as Donkey Kong, and I was like, okay, never mind. They hired yeah, him literally yeah. because they wanted to see Donkey Kong do the Seth Rogen laugh. <laughs> well, that, and like, honestly, he did a pretty good job, but here's the thing. Did I, I, I know I mentioned on either this or the main show, I can't remember which one. Do you know why he didn't do like any kind of special voice for Donkey Kong? I do not. They, hired him for it or like had him come into audition or whatever i cannot remember but 
he was in an interview afterwards and they were like so like why didn't you like chris even chris pratt gave like a little bit of like a new yorker like boston kind of accent charlie like bowser all of them right he mm -hmm. was like why don't you do any kind of special voice for it and he was like look it's simple they asked me to do this, and I looked at them and said, I do not do voices. And they said, fuck it. You can have the part. And then they just gave it to him. Huh. So, Seth Rogen, actual voice is Donkey Kong. That's it. Yeah. But, like, that was the other thing, too, is because, like, uh, I, I, I guess without trying to spoil anything for the movie as well, for the late watchers, uh... When you see the movie, like, it also, like, you, like, if you know anything about Seth Rogen, once you see Donkey Kong's character, you go, okay, yeah, it's Seth Rogen. <laughs> yeah, it's Seth Rogen, for sure. And now that you have that little tidbit of information, next time on this, uh, thing, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Deontre what the hell is going on, because I'm not gonna lie, uh, while I was telling a lot of that story, I didn't pay attention, so, uh, uh I'm see lost in an alleyway, send help! <laughs> That's it, it's over!